Welcome again to our living room. And we are so glad that you chose to be with us tonight. We have been doing this for a while and uh, loving it. Uh, we've got some great people in our home tonight that's helping us make it happen. And uh, Tell them who they are. Well, we've got Dr. Jason Kabler, and then we've got the teacher of the year, Ms. Angie Kabler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we've got uh, Minister Chaz Bosarge back here on the keyboard. And then, and then the best looking man in the world right here beside hey. me. And, and then you've got me. Yes. You've got me the tonight. The best looking woman. Thank you so much. We are so excited. We love doing this. And so um, we, we allowed, uh, allowed Wes and them to do it last Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. And they actually did it at the church, but the Wednesday night before, they come right in our house and did it again. You know, so. they, they're going to love the way you said you, we allowed. We allowed, we yes. We allowed yeah, them. We yeah. gave them permission, right? We did. We gave them yeah. permission. The truth is we were out of pocket, and they covered for us <laughs> <laughs> and did a great job. But we are so thrilled that you have chosen to be a part of this uh, special, and, and really what I, I, and you've heard me talk about this before, just kind of an intimate moment of, yes, of anointing and just basking in the presence of the Lord. There's nothing, nothing like it. And uh, I, I really believe tonight and just declare it. We all come into agreement. Jesus said if any two or three of us would just come into agreement, we could ask a thing and that it would be done if we believe it. Believe and so we're declaring tonight that wherever you are, whatever's going on in your life and in your world right now, that God is going to do a marvelous work. He is going to intervene. And really, I even feel the strong word intercept. I, I just feel that for somebody that God, maybe things have gotten out of a control and it seems like it's going the other direction. But God can intercept. And I declare that tonight, that God is going to intercept your situation and he is going to take it within his hands. And Pastor Lena, he is going to work it out. Chaz, he's going to do a marvelous work. You believe that, sir? Say something. Well, I believe that God is up to something great in all of this uncertainty. Absolutely. God's never uncertain. And God's never out of pocket. Yes, sir. And nothing ever catches him by surprise. Yes, sir. Now, we're going to sing a song in a minute, aren't we, Glenda? Yes, we are. And, you, and you know, when, when Ashley, Chaz is the one that brought it up to here tonight. And I, as we were singing it, going over it, because this is just raw stuff we do here. And So uh, raw that I need to ask what chord it's in. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you could tell we're really unrehearsed. Yes. Remind me of some of those old services we used to be in pray many, many years. Y'all pray for me while I tune my guitar. And, <laughs> yeah. and, and we, we know we hadn't practiced. And you remember that? We're going to do yes, our best. I do. Yeah. Yeah, so I what do. chord are we in tonight? Uh, I think we're in... Uh, he, he don't know either, yeah, right? We're in G, G, I okay. think. But All as right. we were talking about this song, I really felt like that uh, as we sang this song, that, that I believe that us doing this, that people out there, you watching, can feel the presence of the Lord mm -hmm. just like we do Absolutely. as the anointing sets on us as we sing these songs and as we minister to you. So we're going to sing this song. Who did this song? Was it Lenny Wolf that did that song? Was it, was Is it, it who it was? Yeah. Uh, Shirley. Presence. The presence of the Lord is in right this place here. and your place wherever you are right now. So let's 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 try it. Let's go for it. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel his mighty power. And his grace. I can feel the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. The Lord is in this place. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel His mind. 
somebody receiving a healing somebody is going to it's like the woman who said if I can just touch the hem of his garment Mm -hmm. she said I know I know I can be made whole and so while she sings this again I want you just to reach out and touch the hem of his garment and let him not just cure you, heal you of a malady, whatever that might be, but make you whole emotionally, spiritually, physically, mind. And so receive right now. I challenge you, just right now receive from the presence of the Lord. He is in this place, Yolanda. Yes, he is. Sing it again. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place I can feel his mighty power and his grace oh yes I can I can feel the brush of angels wings I see glory Pastor Wes and you and I, you and myself were here the other night and we were talking about people walking through circumstances and it seems like you go from one trial to the other trial and you know you get over that one then there's another one and the word of God says that he doesn't give us more than what we can bear and he's not going to put on us more than we can bear and I look at even the circumstance that I've walked through in my body as a physically and how many times God has come through for me and there are so many people that want to gripe about walking through the valley or complain about the valley and I've said that God has graced me so that he looked down on this earth and he said I want someone to carry my glory someone that I have a testimony and not keep it but will tell the world what the power of God can do and I feel like that he reached down and handpicked me and said, I choose Yolanda Morgan to carry my glory and have a testimony to tell. If God can do it for me, he can do for you the same exact thing, whether it be healing, whether it be deliverance, whether it be for your children, whatever the circumstance may be, God can take care of it in a moment's time. Don't complain about your valley or the things that you're walking through, but thank God that He chose you to be a vessel to carry His glory. 
And I think I'm speaking to someone here tonight that has questioned the Lord, why do I keep going through it? But lift your hands in the valley and tell him, I thank you, God, for the victory that is ahead. And go ahead and claim it because it's right around the horizon. You know, as you were speaking, you know, you said to lift your hands in the valley. David's greatest victory was in the valley over the giant. The greatest accomplishment of his life was in a valley circumstance. That's good. When the odds were against him. And you know, we talk about the day that David faced a giant. It was really the day Goliath faced a giant. Because the real giant in that valley was that little kid that had the faith to take that giant on. Mm, that's oh, a good word. That is powerful. You know, and, and you're talking about David. I really feel this so, so strong. This is a word for somebody. I'm, I appreciate you opening that up. You know, the Bible says that when David faced Goliath, and of course we are all familiar with that story, how he wound up that sling and he released that stone. And as we all know, he didn't kill Goliath with that stone. No, he I've, didn't. I've heard that misrepresented a time or two, and yes. I don't mean to to be ugly about that, but I'm just saying that, that all he did was cripple him. Yes, right. he did. Yes, he did. It, it, Yolanda, it, 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 it stunned him, and his knees buckled, yes. and he went to the ground. Yes, he did. Because when that rock, if you will, hit him yes. in the forehead, it, it knocked him senseless. And I'm going somewhere with this, and what I want to say is that he crippled him before he killed him. Yes. I want you to think about that. I want to say this again. God gave him the capacity to cripple yes, he did. what was going to take him out, take David out. Yes. God gave him the capacity to cripple him before he gave him the capacity to kill him so and true. execute him. So and the scripture says, Chaz, that, that David, when he saw him go down, when that rock found its lodging place Come in on. his forehead yes. and his knees buckled, mm -hmm. the Bible says, and I feel, I'm telling you, the, the presence so of the Lord is so thick right here right now, but the Bible says that David made haste. He ran yes, he did. hastily. Why is that? Because God afforded him a window of opportunity yes, to yes, take did. off the head of the giant. And you know, it was later, and I, well, before I go to that, I want to say this, and think about this, guys. Sometimes, and, and I feel this so strong for somebody that's watching to, tonight or, and, and listening, but sometimes God will give us the capacity to, to cripple the enemy, and then he will give us a window of opportunity take him out. to take him out and, and, yes. and take that head off of that situation. And, and some of you have been struggling and warring, and it seems like it is endless. And that the enemy has been, and the word that comes to me is just relentless, harassing. And that is what the, the giant did for 40 days, just harass and harass mm -hmm. and humiliate. Send me a man. You know, when, when David went out here, basically, and I'm using my own vocabulary and vernacular right now, but he said, is this, is this the best you've got? You're going to send me a shepherd yeah. boy? Is this it? He said, you send him out here. Come on out here, David. He said, I'm going to tear you apart. I'll feed you to the fowls of the mm -hmm. air and the beast of the field. I'll yeah. rip you limb by limb. But guess what? What was overwhelming became crippled. And secondly, yes. it was incapacitated. And eventually, it, it, was, it was a triumph that David, when he jumped up on the giant and took the sword that was designed yes. to yes. take yes. him out. Yes. The weapon that was designed to take him out. Mm -hmm. He slips it out of his sheath, out of Goliath's sheath, and takes the head of the giant off. So what you're saying, Pastor, is that we have circumstances that we cripple, but because we don't take the window of opportunity to take it out, exactly. it keeps rising back up again in our life. So we need to take the giant to a place that he never rises again. And, and that's, that's exactly right. And let's, let's just, let's, let's talk to this a little bit. Um, because there's some people out there right now and you're watching and, and I'm, and I'm dittoing what I just said, but, but it seems like it's, the, the enemy has been relentless and it just seems there's no mm -hmm. end to the situation. And really the word is resolve mm -hmm. and it's gone on. And for some of you, it's been year after year. 
And, and, and just about the time you think that you've got him where you want him, that is the enemy, whatever that enemy, it doesn't even have to be a particular individual. It can be a thing. Yeah. Situation. But, but yes, a situation Absolutely. or a crisis or a circumstance. Yeah. And, and so what I'm saying to you and what we're saying to you tonight, and I feel the Holy Spirit is yes. trying to drive home, is that that window between the crippling and the execution Think about it. Don't you let, just marinate in this just for a moment. The, the, the time span between the time that the giant was, was crippled and the time he was executed was a very, very short window. And yes. David knew, and this is a word for somebody, David knew that if he didn't act, as the scripture says, hastily, uh-huh. that giant would have come to himself. Uh-huh. He would have shaken himself, if you will. He'd have got back up with a vengeance. Yes, he would have. I mean a vengeance, and he would have come for David. Yes, he but David knew he had a window of opportunity. And I declare this and release this right now, that there is a window of opportunity. If you're not in it, you're about to be afforded a window of opportunity where God is going to give you the strength Mm-hmm. He's going to give you the capacity yes. and the power to take out and get this thing resolved. Yes. And I'll tell you something yes. else I want, to, I want to address here. I even feel in the spirit right now, there's some people that's been holding on. You've been believing God for a breakthrough even financially. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and I don't know why. I mean, I just, I just so strongly feel this in my spirit, the writing of the pen. The Bible talks about the... Uh, the, the writer and the, the pen that is made ready. And, yes. and I want to just say this, that whether it is, it, it is a deal that needs to be closed or it is a contract or an agreement that needs to come into fruition, whatever it is, whatever it is you're dealing with, I declare and, I, and, and we rec- yes, uh, declare we and release right now yes, we do. that there is a window of opportunity and you cannot miss that opportunity. You know, we're sitting here tonight and, one of the, and, and, and you, sometimes you need, to, uh, you need to look up uh, Jason Kabler. Uh, his blog, uh, I mean, he's got thousands of followers. What, what, is your, what is your address there, if I could say that, Jason? Celebratingfinancialfreedom.com C- Celebrating financialfreedom.com I want to say it again, celebratingfinancialfreedom.com. Dr. Kabler, he's our producer tonight. And, and so uh, you need to visit, you need to go out there and, and visit his, uh, what, blog, website, whatever, and get some information because he's all about finances and, and God has given him some great favor, he and his wife. But, but I just is, He's just not about finance and he, finances. He is a crazy Radical, him and his wife, giver. They are, yeah, and that's why they are so blessed. Absolutely, and that's what he talks about. That when you give, it comes back to you. How? Good measure. Good measure. Press, Press down. down. Press down. Shaking, Shaking together Shaking and together running together over. And running over. over. Amen. Mm-hmm. You know, I just believe the word. I'm releasing the word. I don't care how many naysayers there out there, and how many people. Say, I don't believe that. Well, you know. Um, that's, that's your business. But I'm telling you, we believe and we know and we have proven God's word to be right. Yes, and when is. God says, prove me, yes. test, me test me, see if I will not open up the windows of heaven for you so and pour out a blessing for you. And so we got here because I'm, 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 I'm just really feeling strong in the spirit that some of you have been praying for a contract, yes. praying for an agreement, maybe it's land, maybe, I, who knows? God knows, you know, but we just declare that that thing is going to come into resolve. And so, uh, but, but the thing that, that is happening right here, there's such a precious anointing here that is flowing, that's going to transcend, it's going to go right into where your home is or, or wherever you are. Maybe you're not in your home, but it doesn't matter. No. Maybe you're in a hospital, I don't know. But this healing power, this delivering power, mm-hmm. uh, this, this power is going to touch you or your loved ones. Uh, Yolanda, there's people out there right now, parents, yes, sir. that are, don't even know where their child are, no. or is rather, and, and, and you know, they're, maybe they're, they've been strung out on drugs. Uh, who knows what the situation is, but we're declaring, as the Bible says, they shall return yes. To the boundaries of their habitation. I, believe that. I feel that so strong. I, I want to say that, that again. Yes. They are going to return yes, yes, to yes. the boundaries 
of their habitation. They're coming home. The prodigal son came home. Yeah. He came home. Yes, he, did. he returned to the boundaries of his habitation. He said, you know, here I am out here wallowing around with the swine, the pigs, and I'm feeding on corn husk. And he said, man, my father's got way more than enough. And here I am out what here am struggling, here? waiting around and all this. I'm telling you, there's some children coming home. Uh, you know, while we're here, God's just showing in with me. Let's just release a, a heavy anointing. We're declaring that children are Jesus. going to be saved. Children yeah. are going to be delivered. Yes. Husbands, Jesus. wives. Yes. Uh, maybe you are you have a husband or a wife that's struggling with an addiction. Or maybe your marriage is on the rocks. We speak healing. Yes, we do. And I feel that the, uh, to pray over depression. That's There's true. people that are depressed and can't even lift up their head because of things that has happened in their lives or something in their past. Mm -hmm. I break that spirit of depression mm -hmm. off of you yes. right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Rise up yes. and declare yes. that peace and that power and that anointing that God has given us as believers to Absolutely. walk in. And I believe that. You don't have to walk around depressed. You don't have to do that because He is our Prince of Peace. He yes, is yes. our joy. Mm -hmm. Well, wow, the anointing is so it's, strong. It's so here. thick here. Yes, it you is. You know, we've been talking about just a moment ago about how that David, God gave him the capacity to cripple before he gave him a major victory. Yes. And and I, I just I just began to think about in Acts chapter 3, the story of the man who was lame. He was crippled. Mm -hmm. He was crippled. Yes, he was. He had, from all indications, a sound mind. His upper torso was probably strong. He was strong. He had vision. But he was crippled. He had malady in his feet. Yes, he did. In his ankles. And he was in the right place because daily they made sure that he was carried to the gate called beautiful. beautiful. It's almost like an oxymoron. You're talking about here's a man in a beautiful place, but yet he's crippled. Well, guess what? That's what God is all about. You lay your crippled self right before Him and watch how beautiful things can turn out. Yes. How God can take a situation that is hopeless. I mean, it looks like it's in, inescapable. It looks like there's no way out. So true. And God. Somebody says, but God. But God. And, and, and God comes on the scene and heals that man. But he, think about it. What if someone had not got him to it's that true. place? You say, what's the point? The point is this. Right now, this is a beautiful place. No, I'm not talking about the home. I'm talking about the atmosphere. I'm talking about where we are right now. There's an, there's an anointing that is permeating the atmosphere. And, and there's a healing and a deliverance that is transcending, as we said earlier, and it's moving out there where you are. You know, we could choose tonight to talk about all the trouble that's going on in our nation. And, and we do address that, and we have addressed that. We've even done right here out of our living room, we've addressed that. But you know what? We got Fox News for that and CNN and all the rest of them tonight. We're not going to talk about all the bad stuff going on in the world. We're going to bring hope. What we're going to do is release on our nation yes. and our world the peace of God. Peace of God. We speak peace. Yes, we do. We speak peace. Yes, we do. Listen, the only thing that can conquer hate is love. It's the only thing it that can conquer hate. The Bible says that, who is it, Solomon that said, many waters cannot quench love. It cannot extinguish love. The floods cannot extinguish love. Many waters cannot quench it. said if a man were to give everything he owned, all of his substance as a substitute for love, it would be utterly contemned or simply it would not be enough. It would be despised. Because love always conquers. The Bible says, for God so loved, so loved, so loved this world that he gave. Absolutely. And, and love is a great force. And, you know, we, sometimes we want, we want to 
preach to people when we really need to show them oh, the goodness. love of God and what he can do in their lives and what he and you know while we're talking here tonight please make sure that you just don't like this that you please go and share this there may be somebody that you just hit that share button and they just happen to see it on Facebook and it totally turned them around we've talked about it so many times uh, man, I know in my own life, as I've said before, and, and Yolanda, you as well, Chaz, you know, many times I've been in a service or been in an atmosphere like this and hear not, and sometimes not even a whole sentence, but a word, a word. just one word, a word that clicked in my spirit and let me know and confirmed mm -hmm. a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so we release breakthrough to yes, you. Yes, we do. We release deliverance to yes, you. Yes, we do healing to you and we're going to sing here in just a moment now Yolanda you've got some product over there yes. if you want to do that real quickly and we're not going to hold you tonight long but um, again I want to I want to ditto what she said please get this out share this let somebody know about it man you may be the link of faith just by simply sharing just by simply letting somebody know you need to watch this video you may be that link of faith that causes them to walk into a major healing deliverance and even salvation. J.Y. Morgan Project has our own songs. We wrote most of these songs, Yolanda and I, and um, we're kind of proud of it. Yes, we are. We feel, it, feel good about it. Yes, and so we do. you can get this. Tell them how they can get this, Yolanda. They can do, get it through jymorganministries.com or they can go to celebrationoflife.com mm -hmm. and, and, and order this book. And then also we have my book, To Hell and Back. You want to know somebody that is addicted to drugs. This is a great book, a great tool, a book of hope. And then we have Chaz's book, Sunday Morning. It's on Amazon. It's on Amazon. And it's Chaz. Tell it, Chaz, again. It's on Amazon. It's Sunday morning. It's a great read. And if you like novels that have inspiration with drama and a awesome ending. A little of it all. You'll love this book, yeah. Yeah, and tell them about your, your, your release, you and uh, Derwin Ward. What is it, uh, Two uh, Brothers? Yes, Two Brothers Run to You. We have a CD that's available on uh, uh, all kind of uh, outlets. It's uh, iTunes, you know, Spotify. And okay. Just, you can just go online and get Did it. Did you guys get that? Make sure you got that. So Run to you. Nothing like supporting people that you're, that you're part of and connected to. So God bless. We're going to sing a song. What you got? One more song? Hey. Well, listen. don't forget your book. Don't forget this book. <laughs> Yes, yeah. yeah, a devotional. Yes, an and awesome devotional. It's a devotional that I, I put together, and it'll be a blessing to you. A place for you to write, take notes in there. Listen, we're going to go out with a song. We love you dearly. And if you're around Hendersonville, Celebration Life Church is a place to be on Sunday. And we have had some powerful services on Sunday, 10 a.m. Give them the address you'll have. 768 Forest Retreat, Hendersonville, Tennessee. Come see us. It is no secret what God can do. What He's done for others, He'll do for you. God can do. We love can you. Do. God bless. Thanks for watching.